I'm Kathleen Culler. Welcome to Hopkinton's Attic. A new show on HCAM, created by Kathleen Culler and presented by the Hopkinton Historical Society, talks about some historical artifacts found in Hopkinton. On the show, Kathleen Culler talks with the hardworking volunteers at the Historical Society to find out more about Hopkinton history. And anywhere from five to 6,000 years old. And Linda said, do you think that these are, she asked Dr. Johnson, do you think that these are from the Nipmucks, which is a, obviously a tribe that many of us are familiar with in this area. The first episode discusses the Cheney collection. Here's a look. Today we'll find out how one Hopkinton farmer dug up the dirt and led us to discover residents who were here 7,000 years ago. And we'll hear about modern day sleuths, Ron Yankee and Linda Connolly, and their efforts to preserve a collection of artifacts for our town's study and enjoyment. Our story begins with farmer Harry Cheney, who worked his 126 acre farm in the Bear Hill area of Hopkinton over 100 years ago, along what we know today as School Street. Having moved to Hopkinton from Milford to farm, Cheney found many Native American tools, cutting edges, knife points, tips and axes as he worked his land, often finding several artifacts in the same field. Cheney's collection grew and was passed on to his son Henry, who operated an amateur museum that was noticed in its day. Very remarkable, unusual, and self-educated, self-taught family. Um, He's principally remembered now for his archaeological work and for his collecting also of, of, um, of rocks, so work with geology. But in the 20s and the 30s, he collected all types of Native American artifacts, and he had a little museum in Woodville. Henry's sons, Ora, William, and Curtis, took on the museum next, with Aura eventually presiding over the collection and often selling and trading off parts of it until he died in 1991. After Aura died, the gradual decline of the property accelerated. In 2015, the Hopkinton Historical Commission met to discuss the demolition of the original cottage, by now deemed unstable, and news articles covered the crumbling of the original farmhouse and surrounding buildings. The Cheney estate gave to the Hopkinton Historical Society what remained of Aura's collection of artifacts and volunteers stepped in to secure the collection. The effort was led by Hopkinton Historical Society member Ron Yankee, who retrieved many boxes of artifacts from the attic of the property's cottage just before its demolition. With the boxes rescued from the cottage, it was now time to figure out the significance of what was in them and that job fell to Linda Connolly. Many of us recognize Connolly because she works at the Hopkinton Public Library, but few of us realize that Connolly is also a trained archivist, and she's the one who keeps the history straight at the Hopkinton History Center, the museum maintained by the Hopkinton Historical Society on Hayden Row Street. Connolly recognized that the Cheney collection needed to be examined by an archeologist, a level of expertise that the Hopkinton Historical Society had never sought before. Linda found for us uh, Dr. Eric Johnson and his um, archaeological group at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. She found him while looking for someone who might be able to help us identify what we actually had in the Cheney collection. And she determined that this was uh, Dr. Johnson and his group, it's mostly graduate students who work with him out of UMass, uh, were a very reputable group of uh, folks who could do exactly what we needed them to do, to go through these boxes of uh, Native American artifacts and help us figure out what we had, what their purpose was to the natives who used the materials, and date the material for us and help us organize it as well.